Hello, my name is Jason Brooke, head teacher at William Parker School. I'd like to welcome you to William Parker and our open evening presentation. Um, we hope you'll find that the presentation is informative and will give you a good indication of the sorts of facilities and uh, first class learning environment we have available. Um, if you've got any further questions you'd like to ask as a result of the, uh, the presentation, then please contact the school on the telephone number that we've got on the uh, website or even via email and we'll get back to you and arrange some further information for you. Thank you. I'd like to hand over to uh, Safa and Laura, my head boy, head girl, who are going to make the formal welcomes. As head boy and head girl, we'd like to welcome you to Dumbledore William Parker Specialist Humanities College. Our school offers first class education to students aged 11 to 18. We are sure as you look around the school, you will be very impressed with our fantastic facilities. For example, we have interactive whiteboards and projectors which enable all students to learn effectively and express their own knowledge. This has proved to be a success with the students' as GCSE records results of previous last year. 61% of our students achieved five or more GCSE A star to C grades and 47% achieved five or more A star to C grades including maths and English. On a personal note, I would like to say that the music department at this school is very successful. Our jazz band was very successful last year and this has led to many invitations to activities outside of school. Daventry William Parker's sports programmes and teams are at a very high standard and achieve great results. These, in these sports include rugby, football, hockey, tennis, netball, basketball, athletics and many more. These are held usually after school on a weekly basis. Next year, sporting departments are going to incorporate dodgeball, concept two rowing, golf extreme, as well as specialising in rugby. There will be an increase next year of central venue leagues. This means that there will be a lot more tournaments and school events for the year, younger years. As you are looking around all the different departments, we'd, we'd like to encourage you to ask any questions you'd like to know. I'm certain that all the students and staff would answer with no problems. So there are a lot of things happening in the future at Daventry William Parker and our progress in every department is extremely promising. So I hope you like your look around the school. We are extremely proud of it. And that's why I'm so proud of the students in my school. It's not all about results, but it's about nurturing that talent that we have um, within our student body. I'd like to start off this evening just by going through our vision. All good establishment has a vision and where they want to see their, um, their, their future. And for me, there are some key lines within that vision statement that, that we've actually got there. First of all, it's about a lifelong partnership. And for me, when I first arrived here, one of the big issues for, for the students was that they were leaving Daventry and leaving us at the age of 16. And that's not what education is all about. It's about nurturing those talents um, for as long as possible. And it's about giving the students the skills to be able to engage in their learning in the future and beyond. And I'm quite pleased to be able to say that with the de developments within the Daventry Learning Partnership, that we're now looking at being able to uh, provide some first-class post-16 education within the town and hopefully to develop those skills that are necessary for them to function effectively when they leave their, their schooling environment. And perhaps, if we get it right, some of you sitting here will be able to join us. As it's not just about education from the age of 11 to 19, but ideally it would be great to see some of you sitting in on some of our A-level classes and developing your skills and knowledge and learning at a future, future stage. Secondly, um, we've got there in the second part of that, that statement about the fact that we try and encourage and enthuse all of our students. But for me, the key word follows that, and that's about challenging them as well. It's no good being extremely supportive as an establishment if we are not pushing them to meet their potential. Uh, and that's exceptionally important to me. It doesn't matter what ability your child is, they all have a potential, and it's our responsibility to make sure that those children reach that potential be that play musical instruments, examination results, athletics on the rugby field. But our job is to make sure that every child engages with us and reaches that potential. 
Now, if we go through the nitty-gritty, we have a standard admission number here at William Parker of 240. That means we're an eight-form intake. Uh, based on this evening's uh, sittings and the first sitting, which was uh, probably at least twice as, as busy as this one, clearly that's going to be a, an interesting situation to be in because I suspect that we may well be facing a situation where more people want to come than we've actually got places for. When we go through the process, it's handled by the local education authority. Um, you will be notified of the allocation of the place around about March time. It's at the beginning of March. And from that point onwards, we go through an appeals process and then our support mechanism kicks in whereby we start working with your child's uh, primary school to get them ready then for the transfer up to us. Now, the admissions criteria is printed in the booklet that hopefully you have all been issued with from the local authority. And I've got to draw your attention to a critical date on that, uh, in that booklet, and that is the 5th of November, the deadline for the submission of the actual application form. They don't come to us. It's all handled by the local education authority, but you really do need to make sure that you meet that deadline of the 5th of November, otherwise you are actually putting yourselves and your children at a disadvantage. So I must stress that it's important that you uh, complete the application form on time. Now, we have linked areas for this school, any area within Daventry, and we have some nominated link parishes and uh, local areas um, in the, the outlying villages. Now, the reason why they have been selected is mainly to do with bus routes. Uh, and clearly, there are discrete bus routes that run from some of those outlying villages. But the way the system works at the moment, uh, parental choice is parental choice. And if you clearly have a preference over one school, then you need to make sure that that parental choice is, uh, is adhered to. So, the process itself starts now with our open evening for you to have a look around the school. We have got lots and lots of students in school tonight. They will tell you what the school's really like and they will tell you exactly what it's like to be a student within this school. So ask them lots of questions. Uh, tonight's about finding out. I really don't want you leaving here tonight without having answers to most of your questions. But if you need to have a look at the school whilst it's in action, again, we have nothing to hide. I'm very proud of what goes on in this school. Please make contact with us. Uh, and we can arrange a tour around the school and you can have a look at some lessons and see the school in action. Please, however, make sure you get permission from your head teacher before you go ahead with that arrangement because that will have to be during the school day in order for you to see our school working. We'll also have an opportunity for you to ask further questions. Uh, email the school, the addresses are all on the prospectus or make telephone contact with us. And once we've gone beyond that point, then you have got to complete that application form once you've made that decision. Now, it's a big decision. It really is a critical decision. There are two fantastic schools in town, um, and clearly I would expect you to go and have a look at both of those schools uh, and make up your own mind about what's going to be right for your child. Having recently been through it myself with my youngest child in Northampton, um, I know it can be quite a nerve-wracking experience. What I will assure you is that we will look after your child when he or she comes to this school. I've got a fantastic team of people working around me and we will make sure that they do achieve their potential. You will be told where your child has got a place by the 2nd of March. I think the letters are actually going in the post on that date, so it might be the day after. Everybody gets to hear of the outcome on the same day and we receive our list as a school on that day as well. What then happens is the appeals process starts and there may well be some movement in terms of uh, student um, um, allocations. And then we start the process of going out there to visit your child's current school. And I mean every school. And again, I pride myself in that. Even if there's only one student coming from an individual school, we will make sure we get somebody out there to talk to your child's teacher. And that's when we start that, that important liaison and that induction process. We need to find out as much about your child as possible before we get to September. We will talk to your teachers, your current teachers, and they will tell us what the, your child's strengths are and perhaps some of the areas that, that they may need a little bit of assistance with if that is the case. We'll then talk about um, languages options and our special needs team will go out and visit the schools as well. And when I say special needs, that covers the full spectrum, both from the most able and the gifted and talented students to those that sometimes find some of their learning a little bit more difficult. <coughs> 